with Svoboda on the anchor leg, led out by Tiba. France inside them. Karol Zahi will take them out. France will try and get themselves in a good position with the individual champion, Karol Zahi, in lane five. Great Britain, Northern Ireland in fifth place, incidentally, a reminder, coming into this event. Another day's competition to come. Germany, led out by Jennifer Montag, and uh, Laura Muller will bring them home. There is the uh, Great Britain, Northern Ireland team. Chris Lawua leading them out, then Alicia Rees. Bianca Williams goes on the uh, third leg, and Rachel Miller will bring them home. Italy have Zainab Dosso leading them out. Gloria Hooper, Anna Bongiorni, and Ellis Herrera Abreu will bring them home. So the men's race to come after this, oh, and yeah, once again a reminder that Switzerland in the uh, B heat ran 43.11. So uh, time to just bear in mind Poland again with a, a pretty strong quartet and hoping that Svoboda, they can be in a position to have Svoboda Boda, Boda. bring them towards the, the finish line in a good position. But even though it's a reasonably unfamiliar quartet for Great Britain and Northern Ireland, it's certainly a talented one. Awuha to lead them out in the women's 4x100 metres. So away they go. Awuha explodes out of the blocks already, making a little bit of ground on uh, Jennifer Montag of Germany outside. Uh, look out for France, though, who've made a strong start. Of course they have through. Karol Zai in the changeover is good as well to Ambisa Dange as we look at... Great Britain and Northern Ireland and uh, Alicia Rees has it now in her hands and a strong run down the back straight trying to make up a little bit of ground now on uh, Germany outside them but still France in a commanding position at the moment and uh, Poland trying to get back in there the crowd just a little bit subdued with Poland's position at the moment and then a, a very close and cluttered handover for France but they have the baton safely Great Britain Northern Ireland now trying to challenge through Rachel Miller Miller trying to close down on Sarah Richard for France but Richard's going to take it through the line she comes in the time 43.10 so only a fraction only one a uh, hundredth of a second ahead of Switzerland, so Switzerland will take second place overall in the uh, women's 4x1 relay. They'll take 11 points, Great Britain, Northern Ireland. Because there was a big gap between Switzerland and the rest in that first seat, I think Great Britain, Northern Ireland will be guaranteed uh, third place and uh, 10 points. But a pretty good run from uh, Great Britain, but France out in front and just taking overall first place. This was not... Uh, well, this changeover was actually okay. This is the first changeover. At the end, it was a little bit untidy from France, but they have enough talent, enough speed in there to ensure the victory. Yeah, France had a real solid performance, didn't they? I mean, it wasn't unexpected for them to take victory here. Quality team, as you say, was a little bit scrappy at the end, not as fluid as we would expect them to possibly be. It was the changeover for Poland from uh, two to three that we really was their undoing. Svoboda in no position, even with her great pace to close down. Yes, she made up ground, and yes, she came past. Just about came past Italy then, no. So down in uh, fifth, sixth, sixth place in that race there, and again, it's an overall time. So we'll have to see where they finish overall, Poland, because they're in such a good position in the overall standings at the moment. But they're in a bit of a tussle with France. Now, France take the overall victory in the women's 4x100, just from Switzerland. So with Poland down there in sixth place in this heat, and perhaps a little bit further down overall as well, they're going to lose a bit of ground on France. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, I was just looking at the, the scores they were going through, and yes, I mean, France would definitely gain some. They've had a phenomenal first day here, France. Lots of victories uh, in events sometimes we're not expecting. You know, in the women's javelin there, who would have thought that France would have taken this title? But they've had a solid day, but the key thing is, tomorrow's what it's all about. Yes, a chance to regroup and have a think about things for Poland, or indeed have a, a photo taken, but that's not the best performance from the Polish quartet. A little bit too much for Svoboda to do, but very impressive from France. And again, they will lead their team see, further clear at the top of the standing. It's been a wonderful uh, first full day of uh, competition, really, for France. A couple of events yesterday, but France on this first full day have made great strides, and uh, they'll be looking to take the title, the combined title for the, the first time. But Poland, of course, will have other plans and some very strong Polish competitors to go on the uh, second day tomorrow. So just one event remaining on the track, the men's A race uh, in the 4x100 metres with Great Britain and Northern Ireland hoping uh, for as strong a run as they can muster for Great Britain and Northern Ireland in the, uh, in the men's A race. 
It will be uh, Dominic Ashwell, Oliver Bromby, Richard Kilty, and Aiken Zariti, Harry Aiken Zariti, the captain. But there is confirmation of the final of the uh, women's 4 by 100 really. So these are the two heats combined. So France taking maximum points ahead of Switzerland, Great Britain and Northern Ireland in third. And then you go, look at Poland down in seventh place, eventually. So just six points for them. Germany in fourth with nine points. So both Germany and France uh, taking some points out of their big rivals, Poland.